Rebecca Kroll and I'm here at Slate Gray Gallery South where I am showing my work from the series Place to Place and I live in Dixon, New Mexico. I've been painting uh, professionally since the mid 80s and I work with oil and cold wax medium. Recently uh, my husband and I moved from a place we lived in Wisconsin for over 40 years. We had been coming to New Mexico, which is where we ended up over time, back and forth. I showed my work in Santa Fe for years. We have family in the area, but it was kind of just time for a change of life, to simplify life, to pare down our possessions, to have a new adventure uh, at this stage of life. And it just all, it all came together because we knew enough about New Mexico to say, we loved it, and the particular town, Dixon, New Mexico, where we moved, we already knew was an artist community, was full of interesting people, so that's where we ended up, and we bought and renovated an old adobe building for the house and built a new studio. The big thing for me about New Mexico is, is the landscape. Um, I, I take a lot of my visual language and my work from rocky, rugged places that I mentioned and where we live in New Mexico is it's a high desert, it's arid, it's canyons, it's arroyos and that landscape drew me very strongly to the area. I started out being interested in landscape in general and more pastoral landscape when we lived in Wisconsin. but. I started to spend time in places that were much more rugged. One aspect of, of that rugged sort of landscape that uh, I, I feel is the drama of it and the impact, the emotional impact of you know seeing a rugged cliff. Um, it's hard to explain, but it just hits me in a different way than something that is pretty or nice or pleasant. It's, it has a real impact on, on feeling. And once I recognized that, I could identify that as this is what I want in my work. I, I look at my work as coming out of experience. So a lot of it is experience in landscape and I'm using the, the visual language of landscape to express different uh, states of mind, thoughts, emotions. Um, when I'm actually painting, I'm quite calm. Uh, and I'm, I'm focused on making a good painting, but everything in the work comes from things I've observed in nature, plus there are aspects of pure abstraction in the work, so if I feel a color or mark is gonna work there, I'll put it in. Also the process itself guides the work a lot, so I'm always, my work is built up in layers of cold wax medium and oil, and I'm constantly responding to what's there. A cold wax medium is distinguished from hot wax or encaustic. Sometimes people confuse them, but cold wax is a thick paste made of um, beeswax and solvent and a drying agent. It's mixed with tube paint, uh, with powder pigment or other substances, and it just creates this thicker uh, uh, substance with more body than oil paint out of the tube would. And so it lends itself to layering. It also eliminates the rules that people are taught to follow in art school with oil painting about fat over lean uh, rules. And so when everything is mixed with the wax, it's all equal. And so you can be very free with how, what colors you apply, how you put it down. It's um, a very uh, flexible uh, medium to work with. And it also, because of the layering, leads to a certain luminosity of the paint because you're actually looking through several layers of paint and the light is, is reflected back to you. I think what sets my work apart um, is, is has a lot to do with the process that I use. I developed all the techniques that I use in my work uh, to exploit the qualities of cold wax medium mixed with oil. So. There are layers and layers and layers on these paintings. And then there's an excavation process that goes on where I'm um, scraping and putting solvents down and things like that to, to get back to some of the lower layers. And there's a lot of texture. Most of it is not physical texture that you would feel, although they may look that way. 
It's visual texture because there's a lot of complexity of color, um, shape in one small space um, of the painting. So I work, um, I work a lot from memory. So uh, to me, memory combines two things. It combines a visual memory, what, where I was, what I saw, but that's combined with the emotions that were happening or the feelings or the thoughts that were happening at that time. So memory to me has those two interesting dimensions of uh, feeling and visual memory. And that's, that is a really, uh, it's a guiding force in my work. As I look to the future, I realize that as, as I enter my older years as an artist, my experiences, my memories become more and more a part of my work. And I feel that there will be more and more depth to the experience that goes into the work. Uh, and I do um, plan to continue uh, attending artist residencies in different countries. And I'm always intrigued by what's, what's the new development in, in how I'm using texture, color, whatever it is. I'll, I'll get an idea and pursue it. And uh, in this particular series, the idea of very complex texture is something that I've been developing in the complex texture relating to the complexity of experience as, as I get older, as we made this big move, things like that. So I think aspects of, of me, of my personality that have kept me going for, for a long time, um, since early adulthood, is things like I'm curious <laughs> about materials, about um, how to express myself. I think a strong inner need to process my own experience, really, it's um, always, I, I journal as well, always this need to um, process and explore what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, and persistence. <laughs> um, you know, this certainly takes, for any artist, takes a long time to develop um, mature work. And I suppose also a certain optimism that yes, it's going to work out. <laughs>